Hey you guys, it's Kevin. Good morning from Bali. If you can hear someone peeing in the background, it's actually a fountain. Not someone peeing, it sounds so much like someone peeing, I just had to point that out for you, okay? But I am coming to you from Nusa Penida. It is an island off of the coast of Bali, Indonesia. And I've been here for two weeks now, volunteering with the endangered sea turtles. And I just wanted to film a day in my life today. So before I vlog my day, I just want to give you some background on what the program is and how it helps the sea turtles. And I also just want to point out that I'm not making this to show that I'm like a saint and that I'm like, I'm a volunteer, oh my god, I'm saving the world. I'm just making this to show you how fun volunteering is and that you should definitely do it too if you're interested. And especially if you want to volunteer abroad, I think it's just such a meaningful way to travel and I'm so glad that I did it and I just... It's, I'm really happy, if you can't tell. I'm honestly just so glad that I chose to do this. So basically what we do in this island is help sea turtles grow and become strong enough to be able to go out in the wild and have a higher chance at surviving in the wild because since sea turtles are endangered, it is hard for sea turtles to make it in the wild, especially as babies. So when they hatch, their shells are so soft and they're faced with a lot of predators, like crabs, um, people even, and just other animals that try to eat them. And actually today we're gonna to be releasing a turtle. He is nine months old, so he is ready for the wild. His shell is hard enough, so he's gonna have a higher chance of surviving. So it's a really great project, and I'm just really grateful to be a part of it. And yeah, let's start the day, shall we? First, let me show you around the volunteer accommodation. It's actually pretty nice. Home sweet home. So about 20 volunteers live in this building. This is my room, room number one. And take your shoes off. The door, <laughs> it fell. Just don't worry about it. There are four people staying in here, including me. We have a German, Chinese, Switzerland, I think. I don't know, but yeah, very multicultural. This is my bunk, very comfy. I don't sleep with the blanket, it gets way too hot, but yeah, we have fans. This is the bathroom and it's pretty spacious. Oh, okay. when you're too tall for the mirror, yep, this is my life. The shower, it's actually funny because the shower head is so close to the toilet. Like if you were on the toilet, you could take a shower and just kill two birds with one stone. Yeah, that's pretty much it, this is the humble abode. Now I'm heading back to the conservation center and I'm gonna start the day by doing beach cleanup. That's usually how we start. We go along the beach and pick up all the trash that washed up the night before. Hobbies include long walks on the beach, picking up litter. It's actually really sad because it is a never ending cycle of picking up trash on the beach. Every single morning we come out here and we fill up all of these with trash and it just doesn't end. Like every day more just washes up. So I don't know what the solution will be for that, but a solution that we're doing right now is just picking it up. Not only does the trash make it look ugly, but it really hurts the sea life. This is just a fun fact for you. Sea turtles sometimes eat jellyfish and jellyfish is easy to mistake with plastic. So uh, all the plastic that is in the ocean, turtles can eat it and they can't digest it and they end up dying. So this helps. Oh. But even if there aren't sea turtles in your area, you could still help pick up some trash because all fish are affected by the plastic in the ocean. I'm taking a break now because it's so hot, but I just want to show you a little trash haul. So exciting. So we have a little plastic cup, some more plastic. What do you know? Some more plastic. Just finished beach cleanup. Look at all the palm trees around me right now. This is my walk back. Palm tree nation. I love it. It's actually just so nice to just walk underneath the palm trees. Now it's turtle time, my favorite part of the day. I am walking to the center now. I'm gonna give you a little turtle center tour. 
This is the turtle center. A lot of turtles. Each of these tanks has one to two turtles. Right now they're out of their tanks because we're going to clean their tanks and I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, a lot of turtles. There are probably over a hundred and this is it. A lot of tanks. It's a very nice facility and time to clean the tanks. Let's check the board. Coco, yeah. number 16, yeah. Yeah. and we're going to clean her tank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're going to be giving a tutorial on how to clean a sea turtle tank. A lot of work goes into it. ASMR. I'm from Belgium. <laughs> I'm from Sydney, Australia, and Philippines. Hello, where are you from? Are you in it? Yes. I'm from Germany. Yeah, very multicultural at the Girl Center. Next step is to scrub the tiles. Okay, so we just finished cleaning Coco's tank. Now we're gonna wait until she gets fed, and then we're gonna clean her, and then we're gonna call it a day. Now we're gonna give her a little brushing. Usually in the wild, they get brushed and their shell gets cleaned naturally from the sand and the waves, but we don't have that here, so we have to do it. So we have to do it this way. Oh, she loves it, she loves it. Do you like that, Coco? Do you like that? She loves it. So you can tell the gender of a turtle based on the shape of its shell. It is a circular one, so she's a girl. If it's an oval one, most likely a boy. <laughs> the more you know. Another way to tell is if the tail is really long, that's an indicator that it could be a boy. Oh my god, so the babies just hatched. Let me show you.